Things you do during exams. There are all those ridiculous rules you have to abide by. Clear pencil case. Clear water bottle. Oh, and don't forget this one. Remember, you have to write in black pen. My life is a mess. You then hear those famous last words. You have five minutes left. <coughs> and once you leave the exam hall, you'll do that one thing you know you shouldn't do. Discuss the answers. The answer was 21. Uh, no, the answer was 22. Stevie, what did you put? I put Jamaica. Hello, you old flutes. My name is Stevie Nose and I love the cool side of the pillow. Now 2020 has been a unique year for many things, but I never thought I'd see a year where students would have their exams cancelled. Like, where was this when I was a student? And for those of you who would be having exams around this time, comment below and let me know what's actually going on, because I'm hearing it's an absolute mess. But to lighten the mood, I was sorting out my room and guess what I found? My exam certificates for both GCSE and A-level. <laughs> All right, all right, let's start with GCSEs first. And the GCSEs I took were PE, Business, Media and Sociology. But let's start with Maths, English and Science first. English, C. Maths, C. Science, C. There's a, there's a recurring theme here, isn't there? <laughs> ETC, I got a B, that's good. Right, let's now move on to the, the GCSE subjects that I actually had to choose. PE, C. Uh, media, B, come on. Um, business studies, C. Sociology, I still have no idea why I took that, C. So as you can see from those results, I was your solid C grade student, but I was ro <laughs> But I was worried that once I went into sixth form and started doing my A levels, obviously the, it gets a lot harder. So I was like, oh no, I'm gonna struggle here. So in terms of A levels, let's see how I got on. So the A-levels I took were drama, uh, media, and business studies. And then you had to take like one of these random subjects. It was like either critical thinking, critical thinking, or general studies or financial studies. I took general studies, and what did I get? I got an E. I got an E. <laughs> I don't even remember turning up for the exam. Maybe that's why I did so bad. <laughs> But now, wait, come on, right, it's time for the proper exams now, the proper A-levels. Media, B, business studies, C. And just, just a bit of context, I had to work so hard to get that C because after year 12, I came out with a, I think it was either a D or an E, it was that bad. And then drama, I got a B, come on! So basically BBC. And in terms of drama, these were the modules that I had to learn about. Performing to an audience, hmm? principles of acting, <laughs> devising plays, storytelling as performance, come on, and clowning. If there was ever a module perfect for me, it would be clowning. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Right, that's all from me, you old flutes. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, turn those post notifications on, hit the subscribe button, and of course, comment below and let me know any funny stories you've got involving exams. But for now, who knows? AQA knows. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>